Well, it's the moment that really puts our parenting skills to the test, doesn't it? Your child comes home with a new friend uh, who swears, might have bad uh, manners or is an overall bad influencer. Picture a scene from Mean Girls. But wait, aren't you so mad at Gretchen for telling me? No. Because if you are, you can tell me. It was a really bitchy thing for her to do. Yeah, it was pretty bitchy, but uh, I'm not mad. I mean, I guess she just likes the attention. See, Gretch, I told you she's not mad at you. I can't believe you think I like attention. Okay, love ya. See you tomorrow. Uh, well, no matter how well we raise our children, the friends they choose are ultimately up to them. So if you don't approve, what's the best way to deal with it? Uh, we're joined this morning by psychologist Sally Ann McCormick. Good morning to you, Sally Ann. Firstly, how can parents see that the child is a bad friend? Because the child can be a good friend but still sort of have bad manners, right? Well, I guess one of the things that we look for is changes in our own child's behaviour and also if this particular child is putting our child down or making them feel uncomfortable. So signs might be things like the child's becoming withdrawn, uh, might be angry or unhappy or their marks are slipping at school. So we look for the signs first of all. OK, it sounds like a problem a lot of parents will face, uh, you know, at some time during their uh, child's uh, upbringing. Is there an age when we tend to see this happen more? I think usually in the adolescent years, when the children are at primary school, we have a little bit more influence. We can invite the children over. We can make sure that we know who they're playing with or, you know, spending time with. But certainly in the adolescent years, we have less influence and they get to choose whoever they want to be with. Yeah, OK, so reality is it's a problem that most of us will face at one time or another. How do we deal with it? What's the best way? Well, the very first thing is don't ban them from being friends with these people because that's the sure way of pushing them towards those people. So things that we can do are things like asking questions. And when I say that, I mean really subtle questions, not the probing ones that just shut them down. We can also encourage them to have friendships with other people. So maybe join sporting clubs or other types of arenas and get to know these friends yourself because that gives you the best opportunity to have some influence in the situation. OK, what if you're concerned for your child's safety? And I guess when we talk about safety and we're talking teenagers, we're talking about maybe drugs and alcohol, those sort of influences. Yeah. When those things come into play, we are not, we are not our children's friends and we need to keep that in mind. We need to do whatever it is that we need to do to keep them safe. So, you know, we, we can't just step back and let things happen. We are not their friends. It's our job to protect them and do the very best that we can for them. OK, so if the friendship does start to naturally dissolve, we want to be supportive and be there for them, right? Oh, absolutely. You know, part of our role is to be supportive of our children. S you know, sit with them, tell them, you know, let them talk, let them say how they feel. Don't be judgmental. The worst thing we can do is sit there and say, well, I told you that friend wasn't any good. You know, we need to sit back and, and you know, empathise with their feelings. Let them know that we care about them and we love them. Yeah, all, all easier said than done, though, Sally Ann, sometimes. Like, well, I understand where you're coming from, but when you're in the middle of it... Mm. Look, I, I actually have faced this a few times. I've got four children. I've faced this a few times. My children, even if they're watching now, won't know which friends I'm actually thinking of as I say <laughs> this. I, I don't make judgmental comments about their friends and I'll sit back and support them. When I've said questioning earlier on, what I actually do, it's more subtle than that. It's just things like, you know, oh, poor Johnny, I understand he's having trouble at mm. school and yeah. let them talk that way. Right. Well, if your kids are watching now, they're wagging school, so you've got bigger problems. Um, <laughs> so, uh, listen, I know this isn't your, field, your <laughs> expertise, but uh, Kylie's got some friends that I really don't like. Um, <laughs> you know, I talk to you after the show, I just want to work out how to work. We'll chat it. later. All right, hey, thank you very much. Great advice, as always. Good to talk. Thanks. Now, ahead for you, the most expensive <laughs> celebrity gala... Ref what? OK, because be your friends morning. are all champions. Are you dissing my friends? <laughs> well, you said you had some friends that I don't approve of. No, you have friends that I don't approve of. That's you have friends that I don't approve of. <laughs> See what they do to you? They mix you up. They <laughs> mess you up and turn you against me. That's what I'm talking about. They're the friends. There's stuff happening coming up on the morning show, like a celebrity gala reveal. How much would you pay to rub shoulders with stars? Like Larry. Like Harley's friends. <laughs>